Hello everyone and welcome to the very first nail video of 2023 and I'm so excited because not only am I in desperate need of getting my nails fixed because it's just not looking its best right now but also I have finally gotten my hands on the not the Apray X set if you know what that is but the Beatles nail set Sorry for popping in here in the beginning, but I have important news and that is I think that I have fucked up and I do not think that Beatles is cruelty free. Luckily, I'm only using them here in the beginning, so I'm still going to upload this video, but I am going to um, show you guys some uh, options that you can get that are the exact same thing, but these brands are cruelty free and vegan. Um, I have gotten a reply on Facebook, a very short reply from them saying that they are cruelty free, but I also have this vegan website saying that they are not cruelty free. And as I do not have any better sources and the reply that I got was very like suspiciously, suspicion, sus suspiciously, suspiciously short. Um, I am not considering them cruelty free right now uh, and I do not recommend any of you guys to uh, buy their products all right but I still wanted to upload this video so I really hope you guys enjoy but again do not buy from them um, there are other options that are exactly the same all right enjoy out and why I'm so happy to try this out is because I am well aware that not all of you guys are interested or can create a nail shape that actually lasts just want to pop it on and this is what you do with a kit like this you literally have the nail tips in here and then you apply this sort of gel glue press them on super easily and it should last just like a normal nail extension from what I've heard at least, and if you have the right prep and all of that. And then also I have gotten my hands on some of the Amaily gel nail polishes and also some builder gels. So I will be using the uh, gel polish in this video because we do not need the builder gel, but I will try that in another video or TikTok or something. So I'm super excited to try out some nail art today as well. I'm actually going to try a plaid or tartan look that kind of matches my top or my blazer. Is that what it's called? Yeah. <laughs> so without further ado, let's just get into it and open all of the stuff and uh, create some cute nails. I did do my makeup for this video because I wanted to look cute, but I am not gonna fix my hair. So I'm just gonna put it up. Let's get started and open it up. So here we have a little application guide. File, shape and buff. Cleanse the nails. Choose the proper nail size for the tips. Use the nail glue on the tips and apply on the nails and cure under the lead lamp. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So here we have the nail tips. And I think that you could use any type of nail tips. I got a like a ballerina-ish kind of shape because that way I can create a almond and I can also create kind of a square. So we have all of the tips. Then, oh, in here, okay. Whoops. Oh, it's so cute. So this is the little, 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 little uh, nail lamp. <laughs> How adorable is that? I think in the application guide, it said that you can cure your nails completely in here, but I am only going to flash cure and then I'm going to cure them uh, the whole like 90 seconds in my big lamp. So this is only for flash curing and flash curing just means that you're uh, curing them just a tiny bit so they uh, so you don't have to hold the nail so you can release it and then you can cure them in the big lamp. You guys understood that? <laughs> I don't even understand that like I uh, have not tried this obviously yet so this will be a learning curve for me as well. Then also in here we get the nail glue. And it would be really interesting to see what this is made out of. Because I wonder if you could just use like any type of gel. Maybe not gel polish, but I do have some builder gels in here that I'm sure that you can use as well. 
Now for these and some color. And they should be cruelty free and 100% vegan even, I think. Here we have them. They look so, so pretty uh, online, so I really hope. Oh, wait. Maybe this is not it. <laughs> this looked like a pink. Is this the nudes maybe? Okay, this might be the nude colors that I got because I wanted some nude and sheer colors. Oh yeah, this is the nude ones. Look at that. Even though I love color, I love wearing color, I love having colorful hair, you know all of that. But for nails, I think it's just really nice to have a perfect like pinkish nude sometimes. Oh, look at that. You can see how sheer they are. Oh, I'm so excited about that. And then lastly, oh, this one. I think this is something that we will be using for sure. It's number 36. And I will link the kits uh, that I got down below if you are interested. I think that these should be then the like holographic shimmery shades. <gasps> can you see that? Okay, wait, I have to get you guys a little bit closer for this. Whoa. Okay, let's see this one. No fucking way. I mean, oh, this you guys. Here are some builder bases and you can use these as gel polish if you want to but these are actually made so you can uh extend in the nail you can make an extension with a form underneath and uh, just build them out and also why i really wanted these because even though you can apply the nail tips to your natural nails with the nail glue that you get from beetles i am sure that you can do the same thing but with the builder bases how pretty that is okay i don't think that i'm going to show you guys all of these or maybe i will <laughs> oh, these do smell a lot whoa now let's get started and pick out my sizes okay, maybe i'm gonna see how 10 feels as well yeah no that was a little bit too small i'm gonna show you guys why it is a little bit too small there you guys can see it is perfect on that side now but now on that side i hope you can tell that it doesn't really fit my nail perfectly and again try out the number nine it should fit sidewall this is the sidewall to sidewall so can you see that fits perfectly you can't see any of your natural nail like spill out here or there. So that is a perfect size. So before we start and apply the nail tips, I am going to do a little bit of prep. I am not going to use any base coat or primer or dehydrator because I just want to see how they last. But obviously I am going to file and buff them. And this is something that you can just do with a normal um nail file like this you can just go in like this sorry about this little cut by the way and just take away the shine and lightly buff them like that but i am going to do it with a little e-file that i have this one is from mccart and this is a cuticle bit that I'm going to use and just remove the cuticles. So right before I started filming, I did remove my last nail set. So my nails is already a little bit buffed up. So I'm just going to slightly go around the cuticles. And I'm not going to do a lot of prepping because my nails are already buffed. <laughs> to say the least. All right, then we have the little nail ready here and it starts when you hold something underneath, which is great. I really want to be great at this the first try, so 
yeah kind of nervous <laughs> but i have my nail tip right here this is the thumb and you should add the nail glue first from what i've understood like all over here like that i guess and then before you add a little bit more in the bottom of it and then you should let's see push it down and okay am i doing it i think i am doing it okay I think I'm doing it. Okay, I'm gonna hold it underneath the lamp and just flash cure it. Like, if this turns out good, this is the easiest thing I've ever done. <laughs> that is, that is so quick. So I'm again, just gonna take a bit of the gel and then I'm just gonna add a bit here at the bottom. Do you see that? Okay, no. oh, I have to, uh, didn't do that very well, but sure. <laughs> Whoa, it doesn't look like I have a neck right now. <laughs> I do. And that is looking way better. Oh my God, I'm impressed. Okay, now this one, this is going so fast. Like, I'm kind of shocked that it is as fast as everybody is saying that it is okay i need to hold it like this if not it's hard to cure okay yeah flash cure this is so easy by the way while i'm doing this have you guys seen the new trailer for hogwarts legacy they will release the game for PlayStation 5 now in February, but then they will release it for like PlayStation 4 in April. And then for me and Nintendo Switch, which is what I use, they will make me wait until July. But that's fine if it will turn out really good. So Okay, now I'm just gonna do a full cure in my big lamp. I'm just gonna go in with my e-file and with a very, like, um, kind, <laughs> a very thin, gentle <laughs> uh, nail drill bit. I'm just gonna go around the um, cuticles a little bit. Then, as I said, I thought it would be really interesting to try out one of the builder gels instead of this nail glue. Let's just go in with the exact same method and do the exact same thing, but with these. Okay, you know what? That looks really good. I hope that you guys can see like the difference now um, with the color gel underneath. It just gives a little bit of a nicer looking natural nail <laughs> underneath. Um, but yeah, that looks really, really good. I'm going to do the other ones and then we're going to file them and make them look cute. And there we have the nails all shaped. Obviously, you don't have to shape them if you like the shape that they are, but I really wanted a almond shape for today. I was planning on maybe doing like a tartan gray look, but I think that we are going to go for orange on one side together with this like golden shimmery shade. And then I'm gonna go for the pink one and this pink shimmer. And then we have a white color here in a jar from Candy Coat. And we also have a black one. 
But first we need to start with a base color. On my left hand, I'm gonna go in with the 36. I wonder if I should buff these. Uh, no, I'm not gonna. Maybe I should have, but whatever. That is such a pretty color. This is exactly the type of color that I wanted. Just a milky, translucent, nude shade. Uh, just so you guys know, I am for sure not uh, a pro at this yet. I have seen some things that I can improve for sure. I don't know if you can see right here, but the tip that I used was probably a little bit too small. Super pretty. So then we're going to put the other base color called 22, the more pinkish tone on my right hand. I'm just gonna put my palette down and I am using a detailer brush from Candy Coat and I'm going to be super close so you guys cannot see my face when I do this. I really like the uh, played nail art, but I don't know if this like fits. Does it look, look kind of, ugh. I think I'm gonna skip it. How cute are my nails? Are this like, this could be my favorite set that I've ever done. I am going to just see if this looks good. This would be really cute by itself. Or what do you guys think? Should I have that? I'm gonna get rid of it. Let's just go ahead and top coat all of these. And lastly, the thumb. And then let's cure. <laughs> I am so freaking happy with them, even though the lines are for sure not straight <laughs> and uh, there is uh, much to improve. I'm gonna be honest and say that when I started doing nails, I just felt like it was too easy to do this kind of press on with a gel. And it was just kind of like a shortcut and I didn't want to do it. But now I'm like, why do I even spend like four hours on building a nail when I can get this in five minutes? That is it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you uh, think of uh, these sorts of videos as well with me not building the nails because this way I can make nail videos much easier and uh, often more often um, and do more like nail art let me know if you want to see more of that if you enjoy be sure to give this video a like and if you have not already subscribe to see more nail videos hair videos makeup and all of that and hopefully we will see each other in the next video bye guys